Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cooking with Clayton. And today, we're making wax. Last week, we made these delicious brownies. So, this week, we got bricks of wax. And we have a special guest in the building, Mr. William Cashin! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're gonna be making wax. So, Will, how's your day going? My day is just spectacular. How is yours? Mine's great. Okay. I've heard you are a trained wax making professional. I have my degree. That is correct. Awesome. So you have a doctorate in wax making. I'm a professor in wax making. Amazing. The first ingredient that you'll need to make wax is wax. You really? Really. Wow. Who would have known? At craft stores or construction stores like the Home Depot. Amazing, isn't it? The next ingredient you'll need is molds. You'll need all sorts of molds. You guys can go pick these up at arts and craft stores. Crayons. You guys can go pick up crayons at pretty much any store ever. The next ingredient you'll need is a banana. You'll need something to stir the wax with, and this is the only thing that will suffice. The next thing you'll need is butter. You will need butter to make it have that nice buttery feeling when you're grinding a ledge. The next thing you'll need is vegetable oil. You'll need vegetable oil so your wax isn't as, <laughs> isn't as, <laughs> isn't as hard as your wax normally would be. You want it a little bit soft, but not too soft. A pot, another pot. You'll need a lot of pot to make this type of wax. Lots of it. Saran wrap. You'll need saran wrap in case you spill your wax. Here goes a bowl. The first step is to get the pot you don't want to ruin and fill it up with water. This should probably be a pretty big pot and not a small one. Big pot only. The next thing you want to do is turn on the stove. Okay, the next thing you do is you put the pot that you want to ruin into the boiling pot of water. So I'm gonna do that. Boom shakalaka. Apply the ingredients into this. Time to rip open this wax. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna use a good three-piecer for the first round of wax. One block, two pock, we've got three block. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna get your crayon. Whatever color you wanna use, I'm gonna pick a random color, and the color we're using is, I want brown. We're gonna be using, should we do orange? No kitty. We're doing yellow. We're gonna have yellow cats. Not. Shout out to Yellow Cat FB. If you don't know what Yellow Cat FB is, that's fine. Only I know what Yellow Cat FB is. And the early followers of me know what it is. So one thing you gotta watch out for when you're doing this is make sure your water doesn't bubble. Make sure that you peel all of the paper off the crayon. You really don't want like the paper and the wax that could uh, ruin it. Come on crayon, peel! Take your crayon, put it in. A tiny bit of butter. I'm gonna be using this banana to stir the wax, so I'm gonna get a little bit of butter, just about that much. Put that in there. And the next thing you'll need is you'll need a little bit of vegetable oil. You need it so that way your wax isn't all hard, so that way you can really like apply it to a ledge. So that way the wax will kind of trail when you've brought the block throughout it. Just a little bit, just a little bit. They don't like that. So the next step that you want to do is you want to put down area where you're going to pour your wax, like a like a designated area of where you're going to pour your wax into the molds. For molds, you guys can use pretty much anything you guys could use. Ice cube trays, you guys could use glue sticks, you guys can use anything you want. It's up to your own creativity. But today, we have all special molds. But first, I'm going to lay down this saran wrap layer on the countertop. So we got the layer down right now. The next thing we're gonna do is set up the molds. So we got yellow wax, so what better mold for yellow wax than pineapples? The next one we got is we got fish. The next one we got is yellow ghosts and bunnies, kitties. We are going to pour the wax into the molds. The way that you know it's done is because there's no more chunks of the initial blocks that you've melted down. And right now, this is 100% liquid. So this is the point that you want to pour it into the molds. Look how nice it is. It's gonna dry pretty quick though, so be diligent. All right, wax, 
you're going in the mold. Here's another pineapple. Thank you. Let's do yellow cactuses. Boom. Bam. All right, so before this thing dries completely, I'm gonna put it back in the water because we are not done yet. Now it's time to do the exact same procedure all over again. The next color we're gonna do is red. Ooh. Red kitties, red diamonds, the red unicorns. But as you can see, I didn't use all the wax yet. There's still some melted in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on right now, back in the water. I'm gonna take two crayons, put them in, stir them up, and wait for that to melt, and we'll pour this wax on top of this wax. Time for a new color. Now that Will showed us how to do this, I'm gonna give it a go with some green. That's what I'm talking about. You the green goblin of wax. Some green gems. Good enough. Should we make wax packs? Got a little bit left. That is all. Ooh, so we got all the wax done. We got cool blue. We got half purple, half red wax. This is really sick, actually. Like the bottom of it is purple, the top of it is red. The bottom of it is purple, top of it is red. That looks very dope. Mellow yellow. Then we got the hands right here. Cool gray. Perfect pink. Boring brown. Mean green. Door hinge orange. Profusely awesome pink. Look how much wax there is. It looks like food, straight up. Oh man, oh, after all that work making wax, you know, I just wanna crack my knuckle. Whoa. Thank you guys for watching Cooking with Clayton. Today, I got a little something something for you. We got some, some little wax packs that are available at undialed.co, so you can get yourself some. With these packs, you get what you get. And what I mean by that is they're all different. There's no specific color scheme to it. It's a surprise. If you don't want these, we got the messed up ones for like, I don't know. Go check the website. And we got grip tape and stickers. And if they break, I'm sorry. There's not much we can do if they break. So I love you. Bye.